Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap. I wanted to show you some soap dough that's available online right now and what you can do with it. <clears throat> so I have this new color called Tangerine Orange, which I'm pretty loving. Um, it's good consistency, actually ideal consistency. I'm really happy with it. Um, some other things that are updates to what's going on. Uh, Sugar Shapers, which is my go-to tool. Here, let me show you. These right here. These are my favorite tool in the whole world. Okay, no, a slight exaggeration. They're my favorite tool. You can see there's glitter all over them. Um, I just, they just, uh, published a blog post today in their newsletter, which is a big deal because that's a crossover from soap dough to the cake world. And a lot of cake people have a lot of tools and might not have, well, here's what, here's what I know. I don't know this to be a fact in the bigger picture, but in a smaller picture, I've had cake people write me and say, that they put their sugar work to rest some years ago, but they still have all these tools. And then they picked up a new art form called soap dough. And that's kind of exciting and very cool. So we um, have that and that, I went out in the newsletter today and I pretty much blasted it everywhere because <laughs> I was really happy with it. So you can see just working that a little bit and it's still, it's pretty shiny and it's not sticky. So there's that, and I'll show you some of the things I've made with that. I made a video to make these little grapefruits. These are grapefruits I made a long time ago. So I have a video to make these. That's almost the same color, but I actually like this tangerine color a little bit better than even this now. Almost the same color. Um, another thing, it uh, doesn't matter what color, but you can make these. I do have a video about making candy corn out of soap dough. This is brighter. This is about that color right there. And I make it in, I made the candy corn with a bunch of different colors on top of it. There. And pumpkin. Art. This is actually a little bit nicer. So this pumpkin, what I did was I made the pumpkin and I left it to cure for a bit. And then I scooped out, not fully cured, but like maybe a couple hours or the next day and I scooped out the eyes and then I filled them with black soap dough so that it doesn't wash off because I was tired of painting them. <laughs> I made these pumpkins a long time ago. You can see they look a little worn. Anyway, that's orange. It takes a minute to get it to working, but it's such a great texture. I'm really happy with it. There you go. Not very sticky. Just sticky enough. So if I were to make a piece, let's see make a piece and stick it sticks pretty nice okay great so you got that i'll show you some stuff to make with the brown soap dough okay so this is a little bit darker brown but i made this and of course make these guys have a bunch of soaps coming out with these guys on top. They're called the mistletoe bunnies and then the little carrot bunnies. This is brown with a little bit of white mixed into it to make this a lighter brown for springtime or summer. And then this, almost exactly the same color. And then getting ready for the holidays, made this a couple years ago. He's pretty fun. Lots of easy shapes in here. A lot of the shapes I describe, no, every single one of those shapes I describe in my book. So 
if you follow the steps of how to make these shapes and stick them together, you, there you go. You can, and if you look at it, you can see exactly what shapes I used. Started with the body first, and then put the head, and then put the little legs, tail, like that. So if you go, look, for example, you go to the website and you want red soap dough, but it's out of stock, but you want to be one of the first to get it as soon as it comes back into stock, there's a little green fly out on the side. It just sticks out a little bit. It doesn't actually fly out, but it's a little, it sticks out. It says email me back when back in stock or email me when in stock, something like that. And then just sign up for there and you'll get a notification as soon as it gets updated in, in the stock zone. So here's red. It's pretty Christmassy. Oh gosh, I didn't have anything in here in red. Oh yeah, I do. This guy, his little red nose. And then, of course, this guy with the candy canes and his little red nose and feet. So there you go, there's a red. Here's the black. That's such a nice smooth. And this is a really, really good saturated black. If I, for some reason, don't put enough colorant in it and it's not saturated, I'll let you know in the color description. Um, I've done that in the past. I made sort of like a less than ideal black. I called it charcoal because if you're looking for a black and you get one that's not saturated black, you'll be disappointed. I don't want that. But that's a really good black. So some of the things I made with black are these little black hats, which I do have a video for this one. And black hats. I haven't had a video for this one. This cat could use a little work, but I was new and this is many years ago, but I did make it with black. So there you go. And But here's something I wanted to show you if you haven't seen it. I made this a, a while ago few years ago I suppose but this is like everything put together so there's orange and pink and lilac white and this is black with white soap dough mixed together to make the stones there's brown and gold in here this is a light purple light purple orange little mouse so there you go I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching and subscribing and liking. And leave me a comment below if you have a particular color that you're interested in um, that you wanna see in soap dough because I have a whole bunch of Nurture Soap colors coming and now they have that new color picker. Psh, we go to town. So, okay. All right, take care, bye.